Just had some geese flying overhead. A little while ago, I had a grouse drumming off in the distance over there. So I took my flute and I was messing with it. And I got a turkey gobbling in the distance. I'm going to see if I can get him to gobble. Hold on. I don't know if the camera picked that up. <laughs> How you doing folks? Right back to the cabin again. Getting things back to normal. Got the Dutch oven going. I can smell the pork and potatoes cooking. I got a nice frosty moose drool going. Compliments of my viewers. Thank you very much. The snow is almost all gone. Just a little patches here and there. All we need is a few sunny days and the peepers will start. I'm looking forward to it. Frankie's missed his cabin time as much as I have. I got a hen mallard quacking away over there. And crows cock hawing over there and a morning dove coo cooing over there. I don't know if the camera will pick that out. And I've got pork and potatoes in the air over here and a dog that wants a throw. Get it, Frankie. Oh, good catch, bugger. What a good boy you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buggy man. That's my boy. Go. Go. Get it. Oh. There's some mallards circling. All kinds of wildlife going on. Yapers. <laughs> it's turning out to be a good day. Oh, yeah. Couple little toasty ones that were up near the cover. Everything's cooked. Pork is all done. Nice and tender. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's tender. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's just right. Mm. Dutch oven cooking is a lot of fun. I've been using them for years and the novelty never wears off. Once you get past the learning curve, you can cook just about anything over the coals and cook it to perfection. Today, this simple dish of pork and potatoes will do. So I'm gonna get the Dutch oven fired up. Instead of putting my meat and potatoes right in the Dutch oven, I've got this little trivet that my friend Jared from Michigan made me. I'm gonna set that there and I'm gonna use this glass pie plate. I'm gonna put my pork and potatoes right in that. The reason I'm putting it in the pie plate as opposed to just putting it all inside the Dutch oven itself is it's a little late in the day today so I'm gonna be burning my fire a little bit hotter than normal kind of speeding this up so I have it for supper tonight. And also by cooking it in the pie plate, it makes cleaning the Dutch oven a little bit easier. So I'm just going to place that pie plate right in there on the trivet. If you don't have a trivet, I usually just set some tuna cans in there and set the plate on the tuna cans and that works out really good. 
what I have for pork is just, they're like what they call a southern style spare rib. My intentions were to do a, another pork pot simmer that you've seen me do in the past, but like I said, it's a bit late in the day, so I'm just going to put it in the Dutch oven, give it a good coating with the black and blend, put some potatoes in there, it'll be yummy. This is our black and blend that we make. This is the mild blend. We also have a spicy blend. We use it on all meats, fish, and seafood. Good stuff. I'm going to coat up a couple pieces of the pork real nice with this here. All right. Now we'll get the potatoes going. And I'm going to use a pack of our roasted potato seasoning blend. This is the spicy blend. Make some good potatoes. You mix in the seasoning with a quarter cup of olive oil. I got some nice big chunks of peppers and chunks of onions in there. Also works really good with zucchini and yellow squash. Sometimes we even use chunks of green beans. This is in the nice bowl my friend made for me. Really nice. Enjoying that. Okay. Now I'll set the Dutch oven on the coals and place a good shovel full of hot coals on the lid. We'll have some good eats in about 45 minutes and no complaints from my sidekick. <laughs> Last summer, when I was at the New Hampshire cabin, and I was putting in the gray water drainage system. I spoke in that video how putting in a vertical barrel will often fail in some locations, especially in the spring when the ground is saturated. When I built this original part of this cabin, all I did was put in a vertical barrel. I'm going to show you a real good example of what I was talking about. Now this works just fine most of the year but here it is the snow just went away we've been getting a lot of rain the ground is saturated the sink is draining very 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 slow because that vertical barrel is full of water at some point here in the future I'm gonna cut the pipe redirect it and put in the same drainage system that I did in New Hampshire that is the way to go I want to demonstrate here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've been doing the dishes with a dish pan. You see how the water is barely going anywhere. That's not a good thing. It's because it goes down to the dry well. The dry well is full of water. It's going to disperse very, very slowly. That's why I've been doing the dishes in the dish pan and I'll just chuck it outside. My new system how I cut the barrels in half, where I imitate the bio chambers that are used in a septic system, that never fails. That's the way to go. So learn from my mistakes, people. <laughs> Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss